Hey everyone, it's me Charmlane, and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we beat Metaton, and here we are in this elevator. So, let's see what's going on. Go up these stairs, well not, well wow, stairs, no, we're in the elevator, duh. So let's go up these elevators, and see what's happening. Wow, this is a long elevator. This is a really long elevator. Jeez Louise. Okay. Longest elevator ride ever. Um, wow, this place is grayed out. There's save point. Hotland core. Oh, nothing to fill us with determination? Um, the heat from the core fills us with determination. It's time to do this. And, oh, there's an elevator over here. The elevator is in use. Let's keep moving. So, wow, that's the town. It looks nice. Um, bunch of buildings are all rectangular. There's a city hall look like over there. Eh. And then there's some buildings up here. How high are we? Like, we must be really high up in the buildings to be able to see all this, the whole town and stuff. But that was a large elevator. Hmm. Castle elevator. The side of the elevator fills you with... Determination. You know what, I'm just going to stop. There's nothing filling us with determination right now, so let's just keep moving. Hey. It's a golden sunflower. Well, not sunflower, but it's a golden flower. Hey, two gifts. What's this? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Nah, let's just leave that. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? You got the heart-shaped locket. What does that do? Item. Heart-shaped locket info. Heart locket. Armor plus defense. It says, best friends forever. Oh, that's nice. But I think I'm going to keep the thing that heals your HP a little bit, too. It's a familiar... Not a familiar. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. That's nice. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Interesting. What a comfortable bed. If you laid down here, you might not even get up. Oh my. I wouldn't want to lay down in there then. It's a twin size bed. Nice twin size bed. More of those golden flowers. This looks like Toriel's house. Room under renovation. Okay. Oh, a monsters. Long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall. The human called out for help. Interesting. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Neat. Well, this is a big bed. It's a king size bed. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. I wonder who's been Santa Claus this whole time. It's a trophy. Number one knows Nuzzle Champs 98. Wow. Those poor dogs will never win. <laughs> or will they? Despite everything, it's still you. The golden flower. And let's keep moving. Oh, another monsters. Asriel, the king's son. Heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Interesting again. Very interesting indeed, as I keep saying. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea, books on how to read books. Seems like gardening tools. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Wow, this is like Asgore built his house, well, his house, and then I guess Toriel built her house like the house she used to live in with Asgore. They're kind of like two halves of each other. Over time, Asriel and the humans became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Nice. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Ew. Disgusting. There's some white fur stuck in the train. Ew, again. It's a note. Howdy. 
Help yourself to anything you want. Who wrote that note? You took the key and put it in on your phone's keychain. Okay. Stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. And why do you have a stove top? It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for butterscotch pie. See, like, as you can't make butterscotch pie, you need Storio. And Toriel doesn't know how to plant stuff. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of one x A date is circled on it. Is there anything on this? No? Okay, we're going downstairs then. Oh, man. Then, one day... The human became very ill. That's sad. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Aww. The next day. The next day. The human died. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Wow, this music is getting intense. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. And there's the city. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. That's terrible. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But did he? Obviously not. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded. Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. Its dust spread across the garden. Oh my. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided... It was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. But is that really the greatest plan? It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No! Not at all! You're going to be free. Well, maybe if I was a monster, but since I'm a human, do you know what the human gotta do? You have to sacrifice me! That sucks! No thanks! And... This is the elevator back there. Okay, it's time to go down here. New home. Okay, let's go ahead and continue moving on. Oh, wow, I can see like the um Delta Rune on the windows. That's neat. Chimes. Well, bells. It's cool. Okay. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then.
now you will be judged you will be judged for every action you will be judged for every exp you've gained what cxp it's an acronym it stands for execution points a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others when you kill someone your exp increases when you have enough exp your love increases love too is an acronym it stands for level of violence oh my a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt the more you kill the easier it becomes to distance yourself the more you distance yourself the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others but you you never gained any love of course that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart no matter the struggles or hardships you face you strive to do the right thing you refuse to hurt anyone even when you ran away you did it with a smile you never gained love but you gained love does that make sense maybe not now you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world if you refuse to fight Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity, but if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now, but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, fans. And let's go. Whoa, the hallway got gray again. Looks like a secret door or something. Oh, well. Throne room. Last corridor. Oh, we're getting close to the end of the game, y'all. Y'all excited? Go down these very long stairs. Hmm. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Timmy. Ugh! It's empty. Well, that's creepy. Well, at least that's Gore's thinking about me. In the worst way possible, goodness gracious. Let's keep on moving. Hi, high score. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh no. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Catch the human. No, not really. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Anyone else get the feeling that these lights look like a dog paw? I'm just saying. And I know that's so, it's just so unrelated to what's going on, but it's just, it looks like a dog paw. How tense. Yes, very tense, with the dog paw notion right after my great speech. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. But what if I don't like the dentist? You ever think of that, Escort? Are you ready? No. 
If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh no. Well, um, this episode might be kind of short, but I think I'm going to call it here. So, hope y'all enjoyed the episode. In the next one, we get to take on Asgore. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And see you all next time.